favorite songs. And when I say something like, I like bananas or I like McDonald's, you have to actually shout out the set. So I like bananas. I know that mangoes are sweet. I like papayas. Papayas! Nothing can beat. You know what I'm saying? So let's try that again. I like bananas. I know that mangoes are sweet. I like papayas. Papayas! Nothing can beat. Hey kiddos, welcome here. Look what I'm surrounded by. This is like, this is at the church and we got so many beautiful flowers and things that are growing because the soil is so awesome. I was thinking about farming. In fact, check this out. Oh, I'm even wearing my farmer boots today. And I'm thinking about farming because we're talking about a story or parable that happened in the Bible that Jesus said. And it's about a farmer casting his seed far and wide and it landing on all sorts of different types of soil or different types of material. And it's interesting because just like these plants, they grow because they're in good soil. The parable talks about seed going on uh, ground with weeds and some of it being on rock hard or rocky soil all sorts of soils and sometimes the weeds choke it out sometimes people trample on it and birds take it away and it's important he goes on to say from our parable and video today that we have good soil or the good soil of our hearts now i remember when i was a kid which is a long time ago long time ago that i used to have something called sugar beets and I used to actually have to not only uh, pay attention to them growing, but I actually had to go out there at some point and hoe the weeds, which means little gaffer weeds, I had to take them out. If they got too big, sometimes they would get ginormous and I'd have to go there and pull them out because I had to pull out the weeds in order to get a good crop. Well, you guys, today's parable, you're gonna see that it's important that we actually cultivate or do things to have good soil in our hearts. There's times where there's weeds that grow up or distractions or sometimes um, it's even troubles come our way and then we go, oh, I feel sorry for myself or is God really love me? And yes, he does. But sometimes we have to remind ourselves and that's why it's important to share our faith and to grow in our faith, to come to Sunday school and talk about God to your mom and dad and ask those questions even out of your pastor or youth pastor. So we got to keep growing because there's lots of distractions and lots of other things in our lives that sometimes take away the seed of growing in God or sometimes choke out our desire to know God. And that's the most important thing in our lives is God made you, my friends, and he wants a relationship. He wants a friendship with you. And he proved it when he sent Jesus to die on the cross. But Jesus rose again. 
and he shows his power and he shows the intensity of his love that he wants to connect with you. Oh, you guys, what can we do this week to make sure that the soil of our hearts is good, ready to grow, and we're ready to hear what God has for us today? Oh, let me pray and then we'll go to the video. Father, be with my little friends today, and I pray that all of us would have ears to hear and hearts that are soft and that you can continue to mold us and make us after your will. Lord, we want to hear from you. You are the way, the truth, and the life. We love you like crazy. Help us to pay attention and be moved and grow in you. In Jesus' name, amen. See you next week. Stories of the Bible. The Parable of the Farmer. This is Jesus. hey -o! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. One day, Jesus went and sat beside the sea. A great crowd gathered around him. Oh, hey, everyone. So he got in a boat and told them many things in parables. Okay, listen to this. He told them this story. A farmer went out to plant some seed. As he scattered it across his field, some of the seed fell on a footpath where it was stepped on and the birds came and ate it. Other seed fell on shallow soil among rocks. The seed began to grow quickly because the soil was shallow, but the plant soon wilted under the hot sun, and since it didn't have deep roots, it died. Other seed fell among thorns that grew up and choked out the tender plants. Still, other seed fell on fertile soil, this seed grew and produced a crop that was a hundred times as much as had been planted. When Jesus had said this, he called out, anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. Yeah. Later, the disciples came to Jesus and asked what this parable meant. Jesus said, The farmer plants seed by taking God's word to others. The seed that fell on the footpath represents those who hear the message, only to have Satan come at once and take it away. The seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy. But since they don't have deep roots, they don't last long. They fall away as soon as they have problems or are treated badly for believing God's word. The seed that fell among the thorns represents others who hear God's word, but all too quickly the message is crowded out by the worries of this life and the desire for other things. And the seed that fell on good soil represents those who hear and accept God's word and produce a harvest of 30, 60, or even a hundred times as much as had been planted.